Stewart looks things over, checks with the officials. Now the team lines up all the way across the field. Ty approaches the football, kicks it not too deep. Coming down where a fair catch is signaled for, and it's a loose football. They drop and pick it up. Leach starts to run with it, but the ball will be placed down at the 14 where Missouri will have it first down. So they had trouble handling the football on a fair catch, then picked it up and ran it with it, and that is a penalty. Exactly. Flag very late coming out, but you can't advance it even if it's been fumbled. That's kind of a, a strange way to start the day on, on a strange weather day here. So the ball will be spotted at the nine-yard line. Missouri will have it first down. That's where the drive will start for the Tigers. Kenneth Dunn splits out wide to the left side. And Skip Leach is in the slot on the left. Three receivers, as a matter of fact, are set to the left side. Johnson is the quarterback. Jerome Madison will be the lone running back. First down for the Tigers from the nine-yard line. Madison carries, looking for running room, and he crosses the 10, breaks a tackle on his feet, bounces out to about the 17 or 18-yard line. A gain of around eight yards on the play. He did a nice stutter step there to break away from a defender and took it on up where they'll spot it around the 18-yard line. Matt Nitsche making the stop. Actually, he'll spot it back to the 17. No huddle for Missouri, and they'll have second down here and six to go because that penalty yardage was assessed on the first play from scrimmage. Johnson to throw. He's rushed, gets rid of it. It's incomplete. Good rush by Iowa State. Johnson had to dump it off in a hurry, and the pass falls incomplete. See who was in on top of him there. Matt Rayberg shoved aside his blocker and got in Johnson's face and made a nice play. Well, they tried to hit the receiver to the short side of the field, but good job by Larry Radigan to step right out in that passing lane. They could not make the play, and then that enabled Rayberg to force a sack or almost get the sack, force the throw away. Four wide receivers now, three to the left and one to the right for Missouri on third down. And about six, back to throw as Johnson sets up, loops it out. It is caught by Madison, and Block hauls him down, shy of a first down. At the 21-yard line, a gain of only about three, well covered by Iowa State, giving four on the game, but not enough for the first down. A good read that time, Iowa State coming through quickly, but on, of course, Missouri letting him through on the screen pass, but the Travis Block stayed home. He read it very well. Iowa State had other defenders coming up. Mark Plunkett will do the punting for Missouri. He'll hit it at about his own 10-yard line. And he'll be kicking into the wind here. Although it is a swirling wind, he gets it away and turns it over and drives it deep. McMillian fields it at the 40, looking for room. Gets to the 45, to midfield, to the 45. Cuts inside, and he's tripped up at the 43-yard line. Good return by James McMillian. No flags out, so no clipping. And Iowa State has the ball in Missouri territory at the 43-yard line for its first series of the afternoon. You know, Iowa State has not returned a lot of punts this year, but they have really improved that area of their game probably as, as much as they have anything. They're number 16 in the country in punt returns, averaging 11 yards per return. Didn't hurt them there either. About a 17-yard return that time by McMillian. Iowa State with the ball for the first time at the Missouri 43-yard line. Two receivers out wide to the left. Eye in the backfield. Caldwell running the option to the near side. Keeps it, tucks it inside, and threads his way down to about the 39 for a gain of close to four yards. Closer to three as they spot it back now around the 40. Brad Scribner up to make the tackle on him. Gain of three by Caldwell. It'll be second down and seven for Iowa State. Well, Kevin could be a good option quarterback. Iowa State has tried to run the option over the past few years, but they, I don't think they've had a quarterback who was really comfortable in running the option. Spencer goes way wide to the right side. Lamont Hill is on the left and now moves in motion to the right. Second down and seven at the Missouri 40-yard line. Pitch out goes to Sherman Williams. He finds a seam. He's at the 30-25, and he's hauled out of bounds at about the 24-yard line. First down, Iowa State. Sharon Washington makes the stop on him, but Sherman picks up good yardage. A gain of 16 yards on the carry and a first down for the Cyclones. Well, Missouri has not been able to stop people. They're, they rank last in the nation in rushing defense, giving up 309 yards. Iowa State with a first down at the Missouri 24-yard line. And they shift out of the eye, sending Williams in motion, leaving Patterson in there. Caldwell the throw, lobs it out for Spencer, and it's knocked away inside the five-yard line. Good coverage by Missouri. Washington back there, deflecting the ball along with Maurice Benson, and a pass falls incomplete. Kind of a dangerous pass. who threw it up there, and you hope 
Chris Spencer can just go up and get it. Chris did a good job. Went for the ball, and the collision knocked the ball free. So it's second down and 10 for Iowa State at the 24-yard line of Missouri. No score. Ball game just underway. Spencer and Hill split wide to the right side. Second down play for the Cyclones from the 24-yard line of Missouri with the eye in the backfield once again. Option to the near side. Not much room, and Caldwell cuts it in, picks up about two, and that's all. And it'll be third down and eight to go for Iowa State. They'll spot it around the 22-yard line. Gain of a couple by Caldwell. Third down and eight coming up. Unbalanced line as they went with Lawrence Roberts as the third lineman to the right of the center. And when they ran to the left. Matt Rouse in the lineup for Iowa State. He splits wide to the right. And so does Lamont Hill. Third down, about eight for the Cyclones. In motion comes Williams, looking to throw his call well. Now he's made a run with the ball, starts up field. 20, 15, puts his head down and gets the first down around the 12-yard line. Good job by Caldwell. He didn't slide down that time. He knew he had to get first down yardage. He put his head down and got it to the 12. Very good awareness of down and distance. You've got to pick up the first down. And Kevin was able to do it. That time the pass routes were pretty much designed to go deep. That gives Kevin more an opportunity to scramble if you have a lot of short routes and the defense is not that far downfield to respond. But the Cyclone receivers were in the end zone. First down at the 12 for Iowa State. Eye in the backfield again. Spencer right, Hill to the left. They keep by Caldwell. He breaks the tackle. He's on his feet. Touchdown! Caldwell coming around on the option look again. And the Cyclones get in the end zone on a very good-looking 43-yard drive. Been a long time since we've been able to say touchdown, but that was an impressive one. Oh, well, the last one was against Rice, the ball shoulder. That was a big one, too, but oh, great to get off the schneid. Good look and drive that time. Kevin Caldwell doing a good job, and the Cyclone coaches have come up with that unbalanced line. I think to give Missouri something different to think about, and the Cyclones just ran right through the Tigers, about 43 yards and a touchdown. Caldwell going 12 yards for the score. Extra point attempt coming up. John Schnorr will hold for Ty Stewart. Ball placed down. The kick is up. It is good. It's seven to nothing. Iowa State on top of Missouri. Cyclones get off to a good start. We now move to action later in the first quarter. Spencer comes left side. Hill comes in motion to that same side, the near side of the playing field. Second down to nine. Caldwell lobs it out of the backfield. It is caught by Jim Knott. And he slammed out of bounds around the 40-yard line, just shy of a first down by a couple of yards. Maurice Benson makes the stop, but Jimmy Knott comes up with the pass reception, and it'll be third down and about two to go. And they'll just, make it three. Just lobbing the pass over the defensive end who's trying to put the pressure on as Knott circles out of the backfield. As Knott comes out of the ball game. Third down and three at the Missouri 41-yard line. Spencer left, and again, here comes Lamont Hill in motion. High formation in the backfield. Here's Caldwell on the bootleg, rolling to his left. He's got room, 35-30, puts his head down to the 25-yard line and a first down for Iowa State. Sharon Washington and Darrell Major make the stop, but a lot of room for Caldwell, and they'll spot it at the 24-yard line, a gain of about 17 yards. And Missouri's outside man just did not maintain containment, didn't take a good angle at all on that play. He went into support, tried to, to took the fake to the fullback, and Caldwell easily able to get outside and pick up another big first down. Ball at the 24-yard line of Missouri. First down for Iowa State. Lamont Hill goes in motion to the right side, the same side as Spencer. And the pitch out comes to, I believe it's not in there again, running at the tailback spot this time, getting to about the 21-yard line, a gain of around three. Mike Jadlot makes the stop, and it is not running out of the tailback spot which we haven't seen this year. That's, right. That's where he caught the pass, I believe, was out of the tailback spot also earlier. He gives you something as eye back. It doesn't have the speed or the looseness of a Sherman Williams, but when you're sending, pulling everybody and getting them out in front on that toss sweep, that power runner is a great guy to maybe pick up a couple of more yards because you're usually dealing with a momentum situation at the end of the play. Second down and seven, and Sherman Williams is back in there, and he comes in motion to the near side. Caldwell looking to run the football again. He's at the 20, and hauled down as he gets to the 15, just shy of a first down by about a yard. He held the ball up and uh, showed pass very briefly and very quickly, and then took off around the right side, had good blocking, and has dropped as he gets to the 15-yard line. So 
it's a gain of about six. You know, Iowa State's offensive line is a big line. They don't have a great amount of speed, but a situation like that, they're pulling. That, that pump fake freezes that linebacker just enough to enable the, the offensive lineman to get out there and have a better angle on the block. Third down on the yard. Spencer to the right side. Lamont Hill set to the left. Nobody in motion yet. And now Missouri may jump offside. Let's see. Iowa State may have either gotten the cheap first down or it's going to be more difficult for them if they drew off the Tigers. Missouri is applauding, and I think that's going to be the call. Looks like a procedure call coming up against Iowa State. No, no, sir. It's the other way around. First down, Cyclones. Ball is just shy of the 10-yard line. First down play for the Cyclones. Pitch out comes around the left side. Looking for running room inside the 10 is Sherman Williams. He gets down to about the seven-yard line, a gain of three. Washington on the tackle along with Major for Missouri. And they'll spot the football at the seven, so give him a three-yard pickup. Not comes back into the lineup. It'll be second down and seven at the seven. Cyclones go into a power running game. The student body left that time and able to get about three or four yards every time they've gone to that. And it really sets up the, the bootleg, though, when you make that fake like that to the high back. Second down and seven for Iowa State. Jim not in there and he comes in motion to the near sideline. Looking to throw is Caldwell. Looks, looks. Now he'll try and run with it. Breaks to the outside and he's dragged down back around the 10. So he lost about three yards on the play. It'll be third down at the 10 yard line. Caldwell trying to come out to the left side. He got knocked down from the back side. And making the tackle is Stacy Elliott for Missouri. So it's third down now and about 10 to go for the first down. Let's see what Iowa State elects to do. I'm sure they want to get at least three points out of this drive. Don't do anything too risky here. Could be a quarterback draw. Spencer and Hill split wide to the right side. Iowa State with third down and about 10 to go at the 10. And running the option to the right side. Caldwell is knocked down from behind as he gets a yard or two, and that's it. And the field goal unit will come on. Rick Lyle making contact for Missouri. Well, they were on the left hash mark. It's a very difficult angle for the left-footed Ty Stewart. Well, they ran the option to the right, so a much better angle, more toward the middle of the field. Ty Stewart comes on and will try the field goal here. The 26-yarder, Schnorr will hold it and spot it at around the 16-yard line for Iowa State. And Stewart will have it pretty much dead on. A high snap. Schnorr does get it down. The kick is up. And it is good. John Schnorr with a great job of handling a high snap, and he got it down in a hurry, and the ball was pounded through. Dan Milner, I believe, was the snapper on the play. And uh, Iowa State is leading now 10 to nothing with 5.07 left to play in the first quarter. We now move to action later in the first quarter. 4.28 to play in the first quarter. Seven uh, points for Iowa State. Then add the field goal, and they lead it 10 to nothing. And here's Washington with a big hole. He's, he's up to midfield, still shedding tacklers, and he breaks down to the 44-yard line of Iowa State. Lazard finally hanging on, makes the stop. He'll spot it at the 43. Big run. Michael Washington is 6'2 and 246 pounds. Sophomore from Monroe City. And he is a load to bring down. First down at the Iowa State 43. They give it to him again off the left side. Another huge hole. And he rumbles down to about the 34-yard line before he stopped. Gain of close to nine again. Dan Milner on the tackle. Well, I didn't think they'd be able to run the ball this effectively against Iowa State because that is not their forte by any stretch of the imagination. But Washington is really picking it up. That's one of the things you try to do, though. Mix things up a little bit, give a team something different to look at. Iowa State threw the unbalanced line at Missouri in that first drive that resulted in a touchdown. Now Missouri going with the run. Michael Washington has been the key figure in this drive for the Tigers. Ball to 34, second down and a yard to go. And it's Washington again, and this time he's popped pretty good. But he may have picked up the first down. He got a yard. He really did get walloped. Dan Milner there for Iowa State. Another Cyclone shaken up down here at the 21-yard line. And now the trainer is right out. Let's see who that is. Is that Kevin Lazard? So Iowa State just lost Fulton. And now Lazard is down.
Got a quick timeout once again, and Missouri running the football gets it down to about the 27-yard line of Iowa State. A gain of around five on the play. Dan Milner making the stop as the Tigers have stayed on the ground here. Joe Freeman with his first carry of the day. Picks up about five yards on that carry. And it'll be second and five. Tigers on the move at the 27-yard line. Give us to Washington. This time he stacked up and dropped for no gain. At the 27, good pursuit by Iowa State. Marcus Allen in there. Dan Milner, Matt Grubb. Good work by the Cyclones. And we can't tell you too much yet about Kevin Lazard or Kevin Fulton. Lazard getting retaped as well. And Fulton trying to walk it off here. So that's two big losses out of the Iowa State secondary right now. Redshirt freshman Waylon Harding playing at one of the cornerback spots. Third down and about five yards to go for Missouri at the Iowa State 27-yard line. 10 to nothing Cyclones. Johnson looking to throw. He's blitzed. He throws. It's incomplete. Tipped away. Good work by Milner as he came barreling in and hit the quarterback. The pass nowhere near complete, but Iowa State has another injured defensive player on the field. Now all of a sudden the defense getting wiped out. And it's Matt Rayberg who has played so well this year. He is down. And Troy Peterson comes on as it looks like the Tigers will try a field goal here. Well, Jackie will attempt a field goal. It'll be a 44-yarder into the wind. He has not missed from over 40 yards this year. He is perfect, but he does have a little wind to contend with here. They'll spot the football at the 34. It is down. The kick is up, and it is good. He nails it from 44 against the wind. And it is 10 to 3. Jackie with a very impressive kick. We now move to action later in the second quarter. Ball to 38, second down play. Three receivers right and one to the left. Johnson looks to throw. Looking, looking. He's rushed. He's caught and thrown as he gets rid of the ball to a lineman. Back at the 43-yard line, he's had a shovel pass to an offensive lineman. I think they're going to call it a fumble. Otherwise, it'd be grounding. But at any rate, they're going to spot him where he was caught, I think, back at the 44. And they do. And the tackle made by Watkins and Grubb for Iowa State. Yeah, great coverage in the secondary, though. There really wasn't anybody open. They tried a, a pick play out on the rights in the right flat. But Iowa State was right there, played it perfectly. And the protection broke down. Well, you can't say enough about the job the Cyclone front has done putting pressure on the quarterback today. It's been a weakness Iowa State's had, but they've gotten to Johnson today. Loss of six yards on the play, so it's third down now and 16 at the 44-yard line of Iowa State. Out of the shotgun, Johnson rolling to his right, looking downfield. He throws it out there. It is rule complete at the 21-yard line. Skip Leach comes up with it, and boy, do they break out of a big problem there. Well, a well-thrown ball, and I would, they were able to find that seam. Got just behind the linebacker, able to throw it over his head, right on the sideline, and a first down. Big play for the Tigers. And they come out with their three receivers set to the left side. Freeman is in there at the running back spot from the 21-yard line. First down, dropped by Johnson. Then he goes to his knee, so he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 27-yard line. Kind of stumbling around trying to pick the ball up. He went to his knee to make sure he got it. And then he tried to come back up. But his knee had already been touched down. And it's a loss of six. Yeah, a fumbled snap. He lose six yards. That's not a great play. But it's only good from the standpoint that you, the Tigers that they didn't lose the football. It is now second down for our Missouri. And 15 to go at the 26-yard line. They'll try it out of the shotgun this time to Johnson. He's going to run the draw up the middle. Breaks to the outside. He's got some room. He's at the 15 and driven down hard there by Dwayne Armstrong. And they'll spot it actually closer to the 16-yard line. So he didn't get the first down, but he got about 11 yards back. Gain of 11. And that gets him out of negative yardage for the afternoon. He's a big, strong kid. He's 6'5". And I'd say better than average speed. He's not a burner, but he had a lot of room to the near side that time and carried the ball down to the 16. And by the way, Matt Rayberg has been back for this series. Three receivers right, one to the left. Johnson looks right, throws. It's caught by Leach. He cuts back against the grain. He's hit and he's dropped at the 17-yard line. Good work by Iowa State. They may spot it back at the 16. They do, so there's no gain on the play. Good work by the Iowa State defense 
That's a play he broke for a touchdown a couple of years ago down here. That slant where he cuts back against the green. And they throw. He comes almost runs parallel to the line of scrimmage when he's catching the when the ball's being thrown to him. Then tries to cut it up or find that seam, get a block from another wide receiver. But great defense by the Cyclones and Jackie on to attempt another field goal. Nitchy and Goodwin on the stop for Iowa State. And now Jackie will try what should be an easy one for him, 33-yarder. And he drives it way, way high and up and through. And it's good to make it 10-6. to six. Iowa State leading Missouri, 8-51 left to play in the first half. So the Cyclones keep him out of the end zone as far as the touchdown is concerned. We now move to action later in the second quarter. Spencer and Hill both split wide right this time with Hill in the slot. High formation in the back. Second and nine, and in motion goes James Knott to the far side of the field. Caldwell rolling right, looking, looking. Now he may keep the football, starts up field, cuts it back against the green, turns the corner at the 45. He's on his feet to the 47 and a first down. And they're going to spot it all the way up now to the 49-yard line. First down, good scramble by Caldwell. Washington makes the stop on him, but not before he picks up 15 yards. And he had a pass option on that, but he decided to cut it up field. Good coverage in the secondary. Had a nice job of running, picking his way very well, but not hesitating, keeping moving all the time so that backside pursuit can't get you. Then he's able to cut it back a little bit and pick up extra yardage. So Iowa State with a first down, sending Hill in motion once again with the I formation in the backfield. And the give is to the fullback. Patterson looking for running room, and he is popped down as he gets right to midfield, a gain of a yard. Tried to cut it back against the grain. Darrell Major was there, though, from the middle linebacker spot. Pick up of about a yard. Call it second down and nine to go for Iowa State. So Patterson has picked up 21 yards on three carries today. Iowa State moving the ball on the ground almost exclusively. They've tried only three passes. One was complete for a gain of six. All right, now it's second and call it a long eight for Iowa State. Out of the eye formation, nobody in motion. And let's see, we may have had contact by the Tigers there. I, th I think so. Ten to six, Iowa State leading. We're in the second quarter with seven minutes to go. Spencer sets up left side and Hill to the right. Once again, the eye formation. Caldwell running the option and he's tripped up this time. Doesn't go for much of anything. It'll be third down at about four or three, let's call it three, third down. Burke on the stop for Missouri, so that play netted nothing for Kevin Caldwell. Play that was successful, really trying to follow the fullback and cutting it up right away, but Missouri closed quickly. Sun is out here now in Columbia. Temperature about 26 degrees. Spencer to the right side, Hill to the left. Third down, four to go for Iowa State. Ball at the 44-yard line of Missouri. And it is Caldwell running the option around the left side. He picks up the first down. Caldwell gets out of bounds at the 40-yard line. First down for Iowa State. Gain of close to five by Kevin. And the Cyclones keep the chains moving. Oh, good judgment, too. The safety coming over to, to run him out of bounds. He just steps out, doesn't take the hit. He wasn't going to gain anything. He'd already picked up the first down. Good execution once again. Not and Sherman Williams are alternating at the tailback spot today. You know, the offensive line took a lot of heat this past week for the job they didn't do the last week, but they got to give them a lot of credit today the way they've come out and blocked. Spencer left, Hill to the right. First down, Iowa State at the Missouri 40-yard line. And now here's a late pitch that Williams comes up with, turns the corner, and gets a couple of yards as Caldwell was going down. He stumbled and he fired that ball out there. Sherman Williams ran it down, then turned the corner and he picked up three. Washington and Jason Oliver make the stop. Some real penetration. That time the offensive lineman almost in the way of Kevin Caldwell. And he had to pitch the ball. I thought he maybe would have been better advised to hang on to it, take the loss. One of those arcing pitches. Sherman ran under it and, and Iowa State picks up three yards on the play. It would have been a loss. Second down at the 37-yard line of Missouri. Spencer sets up on the left, Hill to the right. Again, the eye in the backfield, and here is the option. Look to the short side, not carries. He's on his feet down inside the 30 to the 27-yard line, maybe to the 26, another first down. Jimmy Knott running very hard from the tailback spot, and he picks up first down yardage on a gain of close to 10 yards. Tackled by Washington and Tom Reiner. Boy, Caldwell's play, just a fine game. Another good decision. He waits to the last minute to pitch it to set it up, and then Knott runs hard. 
and he's done a, a really good job at the tailback spot today. And this offensive unit is showing some confidence that they have been lacking, and it's really feeding itself right now. Kevin Caldwell doesn't like what he sees. The line was uh, having trouble getting set up, so he calls timeout. Up to the line of scrimmage with Spencer wide left, and he'll split to the right, and now going in motion to the far side of the field. I formation for the Cyclones. First down play. Pitch out to Sherman Williams, and not much room, but he does find a little seam, keeps driving, and gets down inside the 25 to about the 23. And he got about four yards on the carry. Nice effort by Sherman Williams. Benson and Washington on the tackle. Oh, nice job keeping his feet. Second down and six to go for Iowa State. Ball at around the 23-yard line. Here's the option. Pitch goes to Knott, and he's in trouble. But he does fight his way back to the line of scrimmage and does a good job of doing that as he had big Stacy Elliott hanging on to him, a 250-pounder. And not took the pitch in the backfield and carried Elliott with him back to the line of scrimmage. So it'll be third down and about six. A good hard run by Knott. That time Missouri gambled. That was the side the option was going to, and they guessed right. They catch them in the wrong guess, though, and it's going to be a touchdown Cyclones. Third down and six to go for Iowa State. Spencer to the right side, Lamont Hill to the left. Ball on the far side hash mark as Hill comes in motion. On the third down play, the pitch out, a straight pitch to Sherman Williams. He puts his head down, but he doesn't get much. Progress may have gotten him a yard. And they knock him way, way back, but they're going to spot the ball at the 22, so give him a yard as Scrivener and Elliott make the stop. And it'll bring the field goal unit on for Iowa State with fourth down at about five. And this will not be an easy kick for Ty Stewart because it is against the wind. It's a swirling wind here, too. You can't really say the wind is against him that much. The wind is out of the west. They'll spot the football at the 28-yard line, making it a 38-yard attempt. John Snore to hold. Came down with a high snap the last time and got it down. Let's see what happens this time. Awaiting the snap. He's got it. It's down. It's up. It's line driving toward the goal post. It is good. Ty Stewart kicks it through, and Iowa State goes up 13-6 with 3.08 left to play in the first half. We now move to action later in the second quarter. Second down. Again, the wish, or rather the shotgun look. And here's Johnson running straight up the middle on the draw play. Keeps it, pulls it down, and gets the first down at the 26-yard line. So he got 13 yards on the carry, Radigan on the stop. Well, they're able to, to give you the running look. They've got plenty of time because they have two timeouts remaining. Then they pick up the first down. So the clock is going to stop while they move the chains anyway. Once again, Missouri lining up at the 26 of Iowa State. First down play at the Iowa State 26, and they ground the football here. Johnson stops the clock as he just spikes it. And with 108 to go, Missouri will now huddle up second and 10 at the Iowa State 26. Second down and 10, and now they'll drop to the shotgun formation at the 26-yard line. Johnson barking the signals, and I think the clock ran out on him. It did. It wasted down to stop the clock, which they didn't have to really do anyway. And then you get a delay. Now it's second and 15 at the 31-yard line. Here's the fake inside, looking to throw Johnson. Sends it out, and there's Leach at the 15, looking for running room. And he has dropped right there at the 15, but he got the first down. So a gain of 16 on the play, Dubrava and Walker on the stop. Boy, Leach has been pesky. He has five catches for 62 yards. And now it looks like a timeout will be called here by Missouri. Missouri with a first down at the Iowa State 15-yard line. 59 seconds to play in the half, 13-6 to six Iowa State leading. Here's Johnson looking to throw. He tosses it in the end zone. Touchdown. And a man wide open in there. It's Kenneth Dunn. And right before the half, the Tigers make it a 13-12 ball game. Well, miscommunication between DeBrava and Sean Walker. I think Sean thought he had help back there. And maybe he should have, but Mark DeBrava didn't get over. And he was definitely open in the end zone. A good throw by Johnson. And the Tigers get their first touchdown of the game. 
So with 53 seconds remaining, the 15-yard touchdown pass from Johnson to Dunn. Well, you mentioned the, the injuries in the Iowa State secondary, but those are the two guys that have been starters. Jackie will try to add the extra point to tie things up here. And he kicks it up and through, and it is tied up at 13. We'll be back for second half action right after these messages. We now move to action later in the third quarter. First down play for the Cyclones. They've got again Spencer and Hill set to the left side. And the give inside to Patterson. And he goes to the 30, maybe just across it. Gain of two. So it'll be second and eight. Not big chunks of yardage on first down. That's what Iowa State was getting earlier in the ball game. That's what makes it so you can play downhill football. You get in a situation where you can do a lot of different things. The longer yardage situation makes it easier for the Tiger defense. They've done a much better job. Iowa State had gone with the unbalanced line in that first drive. Really haven't used it much since then. Now for the first time, they'll have three receivers set to the left. On second down and eight, Not is the lone running back in the formation. Here's a rollout by Caldwell. He may pump and throw, and it is incomplete. He had a man wide open. Spencer down at the 17, but it was thrown just out of his reach. He was trying to tightrope the sideline. Could not do it. Also had some room to run there, I think. Second down at the 35-yard line for Iowa State. They have to get to the 22 of Missouri for the first down. Caldwell looking, sets up. He's got some time now. He scrambles out of the pocket to his left. to try and run the ball and turns the corner. He's out of bounds right about the 32-yard line. So it'll be third down and around 10. And now the flags come out, and here comes the fist flying. These teams had at it a year ago, you know, and that was quite a Donnybrook. They spilled out under the field, under the sidelines, okay. and now they do it again here, and the flags are out. Let's see who gets caught. Well, as much as there was there, I, I'm guessing it's going to be against both sides and an offset. Third down and 10. Iowa State has Caldwell looking to throw. Pumps, drops deep, looks. Now he runs up the middle with it, trying to break a tackle, and he's knocked down at the 26. He got six. He needed 10. But six yards closer to a field goal. But he's on the left hash mark, and with the wind blowing from left to right for Ty Stewart, it's going to be hard for him not to overhook that ball. Very difficult field goal attempt coming up. Wilkins made the stop along with Hunt, and now it'll be a 43-yard attempt. Caldwell over 100 yards rushing in this ball game. First Cyclone to do that this year. Waiting the snap. John Schnorr, he gets it down. The kick is on the way. It is good! Ty Stewart hits another one, and that was a tough one. 43-yard field goal by Ty Stewart, and Iowa State goes back on top. 16-13 with 3.32 left to play in the third quarter. We now move to action later in the fourth quarter. Spencer to the right in motion, Lamont Hill. And here's the fake pitch and a rollout by Caldwell. If he keeps it, he's got plenty of room. He crosses the 50, 45, 40, 35 yard line. He's twisted down as he gets to about the 31. Kevin Caldwell with a huge gain. Man, did he have some room as he faked the pitch and came out on the rollout. We've been waiting for some kind of misdirection. Missouri just been laying in there against that option. And that time, the, or the toss sweep, that time they make a great fake of the toss sweep and then Kevin keeps it on the boot and he has all kinds of running room and picks up a big first down, a big gainer. 27-yard pickup by Caldwell. Benson on the tackle. 147 yards rushing for Kevin Caldwell. And a first down for Iowa State. Again, Spencer to the left side. Hill in motion. And off inside, Patterson with a big hole. 25, puts his head down and goes to the 20. Sundiata Patterson gains 12 and another first down. Brad Scrivener on the stop for Missouri. Once they have to respect something else other than just the option, that fullback opening is going to be there. And Sundiata found it. <laughs> nice blocking into point of attack once again. And Iowa State's offense is, is really jacked up right now at the 20-yard line. They really need to get it in the end zone. Here's Spencer wide to the right side. Hill to the left. High formation in the backfield for the Cyclones with a first down at the Missouri 20-yard line. And Iowa State jumps. And Caldwell... 
takes the ball but flags all over the place and somebody on the left side stepped up for Iowa State and that'll cost them five. That's a crucial time for an error here right down at the 20-yard line with a first down. Well, Paul Schulte got a little excited, just moved a half count, started a half count early. Lamont Hill goes to the left side and Caldwell calls timeout as things are botched up somehow or other and instead of risking blowing the play there, Kevin calls timeout. At the 25-yard line, Hill comes in motion. Play underway. Here's a rollout by Caldwell. He may keep it again. Pulls it down, heading for the sideline. He's inside the 20 all the way to the 15-yard line. Good effort by Caldwell. And now spotted at the 14. Darrell Major on the stop. A gain of 11 by Kevin Caldwell. Who a great, great job that time by Kevin Caldwell. As he gets to the outside, nice fake on the pitch. He gets outside. Missouri stayed home much better that time. But he got the outside like he was going to step out at about the 18-yard line. The Missouri defender held up. Boom, a burst of speed. He cut it up and got four more yards. Good block by Chris Spencer that time for Iowa State. He is split to the left side. Hill to the right. Second down, four to go for Iowa State at the 14-yard line. And there's a late pitch to Jim Knott. He breaks one tackle. He's at the 10. He's at the 5. Touchdown! Jimmy Knott breaks a tackle in the backfield, takes it straight up the field, and goes in for the score. Well, what a great job by Jim Knott. That time, a lot of penetration by the Tigers. And Caldwell had to pitch that ball very early, but not made a nice sharp cut and a great burst of speed straight up the field and took it into the end zone for the touchdown. That's a huge touchdown in this ball game with 13.40 to play. Jim Knott with his first touchdown as a Cyclone on a 14-yard burst off the option pitch. John Schnorr will hold for the extra point. Ty Stewart will attempt it. It's down. It's up. It's good. And Iowa State's up now 23 to 13. Good job of handling the snap again by John Schnorr. We now move to action later in the fourth quarter. Andy settling in now goes back in the shotgun formation. Gets the snap, drops to throw, plenty of time. Down the middle it goes, caught inside the five. Beautiful throw, beautiful catch by Holly. First down inside the five. Well, very well thrown ball. Iowa State going with a three-man rush, and they didn't get anywhere near the quarterback. So it's first and goal for the Tigers with 11.25 left to play, and Iowa State leading 23-13. to 13. Missouri moving right down the field with Johnson and now with Handy. And for the first time, they go into the I formation. Send a man in motion. The give is to the second man, Madison, and he is caught. Thrown down at the five. Mark Dunn with a beautiful defensive play by Mark Dunn and throws him for a two-yard loss. And Mark came in from that defensive end spot, had great penetration, and just about ready to take the handoff from the quarterback. Handy comes to the sidelines now, and they've got another quarterback in there. A third quarterback has come into the ball game. Brian Salee. Salee running the option, and he is straightened up and rocked back. Dan Milner gets a hold of him at the five-yard line and knocks him back. So it'll be third down and goal at the five. Sally running, but not well. Let's see what quarterback they put in for third down. They never got the play really going. It was this time from the beginning, and now they will send Handy back into the lineup. I've heard of situation substitutions, but you don't normally see it at the quarterback position. Ten minutes to play, third down, and goal for Missouri at the five-yard line. Three to the left, one to the right. Handy is back. Here comes the blitz. He throws. It is incomplete. Good work by the Cyclones, blitzing through, and Missouri will send the field goal unit on. Not only did they blitz, they had good coverage in the secondary, too. Not only did he not find an open receiver, there really wasn't one, and he just had to unload it, and Jackie is on for the apparent field goal attempt. Third down play is incomplete. Brings up fourth and goal. And let's see. It'll be Handy setting the ball down and Jackie to do the kicking with 9.48 to go. It's 23-13. Iowa State on top. 
The kick is up. It's blocked. It's blocked. And Andy picks it up and tries to run with it, and down he goes. Mark, Mark Dubrava came right up the middle. It's still... It's a free ball. Iowa State picks it up in the end zone if it's a free ball, but I think they're going to rule it down right where the where Handy picked it up. So Iowa State will come out of there with the ball. They blocked that field goal. Mark Dubrava came up the middle. He almost got one in the first half. This time he makes it. He broke clean. We now move to action later in the fourth quarter. And they've got the shotgun formation. And here's Johnson looking to throw. He's rushed, steps up in the pocket. He runs out of it, and he's going to get the first down at the 20 and slides down at the 16. Well, he ran right through the rush and picks up the first down, big, a gain of 12. Big rush from the outside, and they were just about to get him, but Johnson able to duck under, step up in the pocket, and cut it upfield, pick up a huge first down. So Missouri still has life. 2.58 left to play. They spot the football at the 16, mark it ready for play, and Missouri trying to get the play from the sideline as the clock starts running. So they'll send two men out wide to the right side. And the snap, the fake, the look. Here's Johnson to throw in the end zone, and it is knocked up in the air, incomplete. Deflected at the goal line by Iowa State. And it brings up second down with 2.41 left to play. Chamberlain, the intended receiver. And it'll be second and 10. The clock stops, however, at the 16-yard line. Boy, this is taking forever to play this last quarter, it seems like, anyway, to me. As Iowa State fighting to come away with one here. They lead it 23-13. Second down play. Here's Johnson rolling out to his left. He has plenty of time, throws it, it's deflected, incomplete. Somebody got a hand on it, I think it was Rayberg that tipped it. And it's incomplete, Matt Rayberg tipped the ball. And so it'll bring up third down. It is now third down and 10 for Missouri at the Iowa State 16 yard line, three receivers wide left. And coming wide to the right is one. And here is Johnson back to throw, has time, sets up and throws. It's knocked away again by Iowa State, brings up fourth down. Well, Mark Dubrava playing back there, cut in front of the receiver, couldn't quite get the interception, but was able to easily knock the ball away. Fourth down, they're going to bring the field goal unit on here. Uh, the fans don't like this, but their chances of making it 10 yards in a compressed field is not that great. They've got to score twice. Anyway, what they're going to try to do here is kick the field goal, take the three, Maybe go for an onside kick. Go for the kick. onside kick, and then, and then they can do the two-point conversion at that point if they can score a touchdown. Well, Jackie has this one spotted at the 23-yard line. And they've got a couple of timeouts remaining. Iowa State blocked the last one. Here comes Dubrov up close to the line once again. There's a snap. Kick is plenty high this time, and it sails up, and it is good. So Missouri still with life. 23-16 on the 33-yard field goal by Jackie. We now move to action later in the fourth quarter. Second down at the 42-yard line. Three receivers left, one to the right. And they'll go back to the shotgun formation. Johnson awaiting the snap, has it. Drops back to throw, has plenty of time. Runs out of the pocket, being chased. Trying to get out of bounds. Now he turns it upfield, and he's running down the sideline inside the 20, and he's out of bounds at the 17 with 24 seconds to go. Oh, my. Johnson showed some fine athletic ability there. He was, got chased out of the pocket. Pretty good coverage in the secondary by Iowa State, but they couldn't maintain the containment on Johnson, and he got to the corner and not only got the first down, a lot more and out of bounds. And now they have plenty of time to take a few cracks at the end zone. They're only 17 yards away. Iowa State leading 23-16. The Tigers in a frenzied comeback attempt here at the 17-yard line. And they'll go with three receivers wide to the right. Back to throw. Johnson looks, pumps, throws into the end zone. It's incomplete. Walker making contact with the receiver just as the ball hit his fingertips. Kenneth Dunn, he couldn't hang on. It stops the clock with 19 seconds to play. Well, Cyclone staying with four down linemen right now, trying to maintain some containment so Johnson can't get away up the middle again. 
Although, if they could get him before the first down, it would just about do it. 19 seconds to play, a sack, and the Tigers are done. Got a touchdown, and they've got a chance to win the game. Second down, but that's not important right now. The ball at the 17-yard line. Missouri again sends three to the right side, one to the left. Johnson has some time, sets up, delivers, and it is caught, I think. Let's see. Yes. They rule it complete inside the five. A diving catch by Dunn. Clock is running. No, it isn't running. It stopped on the first down. It's at the three. A 14-yard pickup, and they'll ground the ball here as soon as they make it ready for play, I'm sure. And they do. Nine, Nine seconds to go. They're at the three-yard line. Well, it's a passing situation here all the way. I don't think you want to, they can't risk. They have two chances to get it in the end zone on a pass. And Maybe. they might roll him out, too. Holy cow, it's down to this. A first and goal, oh. and again, that's immaterial. Nine seconds on the clock, and Missouri has a chance. But if they're going to win the game, they've got to do it twice. Because they trail, trail by seven. They'll send two receivers left, two to the right. Here's Johnson rolling to his left, stops, delivers, and it is caught! Touchdown! In the deepest part of the end zone, it is caught by Kenny Holly. Boy, right in the corner. Iowa State thought they were going to get Johnson. They didn't get him. And four seconds remain. Oh. He was wide open back there. And they're going to go for two. There's no question about that. Well, it all comes down to this. this is four seconds on the clock. It's win or lose it right here for both teams. Four seconds left on the clock. The pass of three yards to Holly for the touchdown. And they line up for the two-point conversion. And here's Johnson looking to throw. He's rushed. He throws. It is intercepted. Iowa State will win the game. In fact, they're running it back. He's running it back all the way. It's Waylon Harding. This will be two points if he scores. He is going all the way for the score. Penalty flag on the field. Let's see what that's all about well, now. It might be a clip, but it's going to be a post-possession, whatever it is. Well, the clock never started running, well, of course, on the two-point conversion. There's a flag out at the 35, but Waylon Harding comes up with the interception on the two-point conversion. Now it's what happens on the penalty. Well, I think regardless, that flag didn't come out until the return. Waylon Harding was at midfield. And, and it's going to be post-possession no matter what. So Iowa State's going to win this football game. It just The only difference right now, in my estimation, is whether it's 25-22 or 23-22. to Still four seconds left, but that's pretty much academic. Iowa State comes out this time with only Lamont Hill flanked out. And they'll just have to snap the ball and get this one over with. Caldwell takes it, goes to one knee, and that should do it. The clock runs out. Iowa State comes up with a victory, 23-22 over the Missouri Tigers. And what a big win this is for an Iowa State group that has been much beleaguered for a long, long time. Lost four defensive starters today and still hung in there to get the victory. Oh, it was tough. A couple of late scores by Missouri. They had a chance to win, but they made the last play when they had to. What a, what a whale of a football game and a, and a great effort. We'll be back to wrap up today's game right after these messages. <laughs> 